Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my home office. So you may have seen my shiplap wall video that I done. I, we painted it green now. And then you might have also seen my stand up desk video, which I love this thing. I've still got it. But one of the things we wanted to do was update the floor. It was an old industrial carpet and it just didn't look good. And so now we've got this awesome new laminate floor and I didn't know much about laminate. So took the plunge, jumped in and I'm excited to say it turned out awesome. And so I wanna show you everything we learned along the way and give you every tip and trick I've got and hopefully it'll help you on your project. So check it out on this episode of Field Treasure Designs. All right, let's get started. So yeah, this is my office and yep, that carpet is nasty. So thankfully it wasn't tacked down. There was no carpet tacking holding it down around the perimeter. So I could just pull it right up and underneath it is a nice old laminate. And so I don't need an underlayment since there's already a protective barrier on the concrete. So I get to work pulling it out. I've got a really nice carpet cutting knife you can replace the blades on this bad boy. It makes cutting carpet really easy. I'll have links below to this tool and lots of others that I use in the show notes below. So make sure you check that out. So got the one side done and moving to the next, I need to take off the baseboard. I forgot to do that earlier. And so I'm taking off the green one. I'm using an awesome pry bar. I'll link to that on the show notes below as well. Got that done, rolled up the rest of the carpet and we are good to go. I'll also take off the baseboard around the other walls as well. But yeah, here we go. I'm laying out out the first floor piece it's just a cut off you can see there's a notch in it and I'm just using this as getting the exact measurement for the trim around the door that I can cut out this multi-tool makes this task awesome so I literally just hover it right above that floor piece and I'm able to get a really nice cut and then once I take out what I cut away I'm able to slide the piece in and it fits perfectly flush after I cut the other trim pieces, I was able to lay out the laminate to get an idea of how I wanted it to look. Then I grabbed my tape measure just to make sure I'm gonna end with the correct board at the end. Now I'm measuring in the corner here for my first row. So I go to my miter station, take the measurement. Now I'm cutting on the left side of this board. As you see here, I grab that piece. I'm now gonna take it over and I'm able to keep on the right side the attachment piece. So I take that laminate I lock it in, I go at an angle, then I push it down and it locks in place. Then I add the next one. And now I've got a row of three. This is my first row. I'm gonna slide it in nice and carefully. It goes under that door trim and under that corner trim that you see there and it fits in perfect. And so here we go. We're laying laminate flooring people. This is awesome. Next, I started on the next row, of course, and I'm laying it out. This one requires two different cuts, one on the left side, one on the right side. So I'm checking my measurement. I'm making sure everything's good. The biggest key is making sure the seam is staggered. That's why I want to make sure my measurement's right. Then when I get done, I make my cuts at the miter station. All right, we're back in the office. I've got some LED lighting to try to brighten things up a bit. So I'm attaching the first one, now the second one. So I'm gonna have the small one, then two long planks, and then I slide that into place. And I'm going to add the last one on the right. That was my other cutoff here. So I'm laying that down. Now I've got that row ready and I'm gonna slide it into place. And so I have to, it's tricky because you have to kind of lift it up at an angle to kind of get it in there, get it to connect, and then you have to get it flat. Now I was really nervous at the beginning because it wasn't really going flat. It was kind of laying a little bit up. And after I did some research, I realized you've really got to bang it down. So I have a rubber mallet that I use to smack it down and make sure it pops into place and it really helps out and lays it flat. And then the weight of the laminate as you get on down your row will help hold it down as well. Here's a closer look at what I'm talking about. So there's a gap there you can see from the floor to the laminate there. And I'm using the mallet just to pop it in, which has the effect of helping it lock in. Then I grab a scrap piece of wood to kind of tap towards the door there to get it to really connect. And so I use that scrap to protect the laminate MDF section there so it doesn't damage it so I can lock the next row into place. So I just go down, I work the process, then I come back across with the mallet on the top and you can see it start to lay down. And then that mixed with the weight of the floor will hold it down nice and flat, awesome. Yeah, here's what it looked like before and now the after, pretty cool. Next, I work on the third row, so I measure on the left side and the right side to make sure I've got that right. And then once I've got those measurements, just like before, I make those cuts and then I piece them together and then fit them in. 
Now that I've got my first three rows established, I'm gonna use the exact same measurements for the rest of the floor. And so all I have to do is match my measurements for each of the three rows and put them in sets. And so here I'm just cutting them and labeling them and I'm getting them all ready to go so I can just go and lay the floor. Oh, and by the way, my seven and a quarter inch miter saw by DeWalt is killing this project. It's doing great. Now that I've got all the pieces cut, I just get to rock and roll and kind of fine tune the install process just in one row at a time and it's fitting together great. As I got down the line, my awesome wife came to help me out. It was just nice to have an extra set of hands to kind of hold the line when I was clicking them into place. All right, so far so good. Look at that, baby. Looks awesome. So now we're at the end and I've got about three inches left, which is perfect width for the last stretch. And so I measured down the wall just in case there's a little deviance in the measurement. Thankfully, mine was just about equal, so it was perfect. I needed about three inches of width, so I took it over to my table saw and I cut each board in the section down. And so for this one, all I had to do was cut four boards. So here's the first one, a regular length one. Then I've got a little bit smaller one that I'm cutting, and I've got the smallest one, and then the last one. And so I've got all four boards ready to go. So then we just did the same thing. We clicked the pieces together. We then laid them down at the angle and then snapped it in. Then I used the mallet to go down and make sure it was pressed all the way down. There's a little bit of drywall blocking it, but it went in no problem. After that, I grabbed my pry bar and I just needed to put a little pressure against that drywall so that the laminate would click. Then I used my mallet and I alternated that process and it just went down nice and easy for the last line. The base trim will hold it in place as well when I nail it in. And just like that, we're done laying our first laminate floor. For the last step, I just needed to put back all my baseboard. So I grabbed my nail gun and got to work. And here we go. Here's a quick shot of it looking empty and nice and clean. Well, there it is. I'm all done with the project. I'm so glad I took the time to do it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget, I've got a few other videos that you can check out that I think you may enjoy. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.